And police say teaching a de-escalation to officers is a great way to avoid using force. 3 News Now investigators noticed someone in OPD's research and planning unit recommended they implement a de-escalation policy in early 2020. More than two years later, there isn't one. 3 News Now investigative reporter Aaron Haggerty has the story. Each year, OPD creates a report like this one. It's on use of force and shows how often officers use things like pepper balls, tasers, or their firearms. This one's from 2019 and was released in early 2020, but in it, there's a recommendation that OPD should put in place a de-escalation policy, but today, there isn't one. The Omaha Police Department does not have a standalone uh, policy when it comes to de-escalation, uh, but if you look uh, carefully, uh, de-escalation is, is integrated into every use of, for, use of force policy we have. That's Lieutenant Ken Fox, training commander at OPD. He points to everywhere in OPD's policies that de-escalation is mentioned. He says conversations about policy changes started in about 2019. In that conversation we talked about de-escalation, how are we teaching de-escalation with the, each use of force policy. And so we came together before 2020 and talked about that and started integrating that into our policies. De-escalation training like this. What's happening here? Who's he yelling at? We attended this training in the fall of 2020. This one is for school resource officers. The focus was on communication, including Gen Z slang. The point of talking about talking to avoid using any more force than necessary. De-escalation can also include physical ways to reduce the severity of force. Life is often on the line in these interactions, and any case where an officer appears to use more force than needed could cause public outcry. The 2020 recommendation states, I believe creating such a policy would emphasize the importance the agency places on de-escalation techniques and strategies. It would be an addition, but I don't think it's right now, it's not detrimental to the culture that we've created for this department. All four recommendations in early 2020 are related to de-escalation. One says de-escalations should be rewarded. Fox said this happens at an annual banquet. And in early 2019, it was recommended that de-escalation training happens annually. OPD does that. And after a Nebraska bill passed last year, it's required. The Omaha Police Department is always looking for best practices and always trying to get in front of uh, you know, what will be beneficial for our citizens and our officers. Aaron Higarty, 3 News Now Investigators. And the report Aaron mentioned shows police are using tasers more often these days. And you can head to our website, that's 3newsnow.com, to learn more about that. And you can also see other documents we've achieved from a public records request.